Francisco? Well, that's a mixture of uh, phenylephrine and lidocaine. You can see how effective it was in bringing the pupil the rest of the way. She had the midfrin mandriacil just a few minutes ago in the prep area. get that phenylephrine from little 10% phenylephrine minims which uh, are available to us in Canada but I understand aren't available in the US at least in California and just puncture the capsule and push ahead to try to get a vertical tear started which is easy to grasp with the Crafiotrata. I like to stop here at sub-incisional to re-grasp. And this is a hydrosection cannula that I continue to make for many years ago. It's 26 gauge. Dr. Chang uh, promoting one that's 27 gauge, but I find that the stronger stream is more effective for me. I had a little bend on this to get over the brow because we used to do the superior incisions. And his is straight. I put a little provisk in after the hydro dissection. To make sure that the cortical debris doesn't adhere to a irregular <clears throat> dome of the viscote. <coughs> I'd like to stop in the center for my fracturing. the fracture makes it easier to and break away segments. Notice my second instrument under the phaco tip. When there's no protection from an epinucleus. I like to just let things come to the tip rather than Let me 
they're going after them with a second instrument to not protect the cluster capsule. I'm going to turn it up a little to try to get rid of the viscose in the chamber. I find this uh, the large port of the phaco tip uh, evacuates that a lot more efficiently than the IE. How are you doing? I'm fine. Try to remember to keep your feet still. Mm -hmm. You're doing very well today. Excel. I have two vacuum set limits for the IA. Excel, please. You can <clears throat> Lower the vacuum. <clears throat> it's hard to get a real low vacuum when you have the high maximum. Better really feather your foot switch. With the lower <clears throat> maximum, it's easier to feather it and, and get that sub incisional cortex to drag out rather than tear off. I'm scrubbing lens epithelial cells off as far as I can reach. Sometimes you find cortex that you didn't really anticipate it there either. There's a little strand there that there we got it. So these lens epithelial cells do not cause secondary cataract, that's the equatorial cells. They're pretty hard to scrub off because they, the equatorial capsule is not supported by zonules, so you put vacuum against that and you, <clears throat> you're pulling it into the maybe stripping more zonules off. Did I remove these? Which Dr. Apple has pointed out are the cells that have undergo fibrous metaplasia and cause the myofibrils that give you capsular phimosis. my tangential approach to the chamber with the provis cannula.
to evacuate Provisk, I use the highest vacuum. Try to get it up to the 600 maximum. Because that drags out the cohesive viscoelastic even from under the lens. But I still like to go under it to just confirm because sometimes there's some that didn't come out. And that rotating of the implant sometimes turns up some cortex that's been hidden in the sub-incisional area. After hydrating the wound, I like to just make sure the decimase membrane is not folded here, the inner lip of the incision. And hydrate paracentesis a bit. I think our main incision isn't sealed yet, so we'll hydrate some more. And again, make sure that inner lip isn't rolled. Now try again. I'd like to get the eye really firm, and then confirm the incisions. Once I know I have the sealed incisions, now I'm going to put the vancomycin one milligram in 0.1 ml concentration under the lens. And that I hope will stay in the chamber longer than or I expect it will. Longer than what's in the just in the chamber. Can you look right at the light now to confirm the centration? I check the pressure with the air cell sponge. And we're finished your surgery and all went well. And you did really well today. <laughs>